Hello, so this is one of those videos I make um, to track progress of what I've done and what I've learned. So this was regarding hotel data, specifically Marriott residence in data. Now I will not specify which data period this is from and uh, which hotel this is from. But uh, yes, so this is my Domo dashboard. It's my name's there. And, uh, and I thought to do some analytics on this. So let's get right into this. So I did this for a class, but this is also useful as I plan to work for, well, in uh, the hotel industry in the, in the hospitality sector. So, all right. So the first way we can do this is simple passing. Simple passing is simply getting all of the text from reviews and just putting them and seeing if customers are satisfied or dissatisfied well this doesn't tell us much because this D is here and here and D doesn't tell us if the customer is happy or not happy so moving on we have advanced passing and advanced passing what we do is we convert the tenses over and we also have these words such as D and I in these words are taken out so the other words that remain are words like hotel room more relevant words but even this is this is not correct because we know that hotel is going to be the biggest thing that people are going to like and it's also the biggest thing that people are going to dislike so what we want to do is we want to take these out so we can see the other things so let's get right into that but before that let's let's look at how many reviews we looked at so why is this data passing useful well this has 38.9k reviews so this software is really amazing this code is able to run and it's able to process so much in so little time now looking at this satisfied this is dissatisfied time um the, so, um, 68% is satisfied and 32% of the people were dissatisfied. Alright, one wonderful thing about Domo is if you just go over this, you'll be able to see like this data change and we'll, we'll look into it later. And device used to review, well, a little portion of the reviews, 15k, came from desktop, mobile was 15k as well, and tablet was 9k, maybe maybe desktop is not not so little after all, um, okay, but that's the, that's another metric I was able to pull up from the data, and let's look at word proportions, so proportions, oh, here's what I'm planning to do, so I'm planning to see how many times hotel is being mentioned, and hotel is mentioned a lot. 28k times when when people are dissatisfied and 51k times when people are happy with the hotel now the thing is how will i know if hotel is better than average or worse than average well that's why i drew this pie chart right here so if it's above 68 percent it means that this is very dominant or it's a very st statistically significant portion of the people believe that the hotel itself is good or let's say bed or in this example so something probably went wrong here or maybe the bed was really that bad or i don't know we'll probably look into this one but let's assume the bed was this bad so seeing this large amount of negative reviews about the bed when it should be around 32 percent tells me something is really wrong about the bed also look at this night right here night is more than 40 percent right here this is 60 percent so 100 and then 20 percent 40 percent just over over 40 percent people were dissatisfied with night or when they commented they used the word night and then they were dissatisfied so we know 32 percent is the average amount of dissatisfied people and the people that use the word night are well it's like probably 42 percent or something like that so something is going wrong at night maybe like there's like a lot of noise partying or something's ha happening at night we don't know what exactly but something is happening so here is room room also is a little more than 40 percent right here so hmm, maybe something's wrong with the room something's wrong with the bed and something's wrong with the night maybe people are happy during the day when they stay over but at night the bed is uncomfortable and maybe people are making noise or something like that so that's that's the inferences i'm getting from this now let's look at final text anal 
analytics data so from here all of this is advanced passing data so from here hotel room these words I have taken out for the most part and then now I have this piece of data this this graph is very very important because on one side this is satisfied and that's the number of people that have commented this and dissatisfied is well that many people so um, or that many times it has been mentioned so when a room is mentioned a lot of the time people are unhappy um, so this is the stuff this is the hotel's good side right like what they're good at doing so well this is the power of data analytics and uh, text analytics in hotels I understand that software like guest guest services or guest voice or something like that Marriott uses um, one of the hotels I was at um, the general manager showed me the software and showed how text analytics works on that but anyways so let's see so the word great is mentioned a lot well it's obvious because great means good and good means satisfied but anyways let's look at the next one staff so great staff that's probably the combination of words that people are using a great location so we know the location is pretty good we know the staff are are pretty friendly and uh, the restaurant is pretty good and comfort maybe this comfort is referring to just how um, they feel right the reason why it's why I'm not relating it to the bed is because the bed is right here and people are not happy with the bed people aren't happy with the room with the hotel well the hotel is here so something must be going wrong right there N night stay so these are like night ish words so I'm assuming the people are happy during the day when they check in things are good but um, towards the night things start to go wrong so maybe this hotel this particular hotel the residents in should look into this one anyways the satisfied word final text data so this data has been processed very very thoroughly once here then here again and then here so it's like I've strained this data three times to be able to see this information this is a word cloud and the bigger the words are the the more times it has been mentioned the more impact it has so some words are breakfast staff friend free walk comfort restaurant recommend block pleasant concierge bar so you can tell that this hotel is has got a good bar has got a good location maybe the friends recommended maybe they were over with friends maybe so we, you can tell that these people are not staying by themselves they have probably have friends over that's why this word friend is here so much so much 13 13 K times out of the out of the almost 40 K reviews that we had mentioned the word friend so something's happening that this word friend is being mentioned a lot 20 26 K out of 40k times this word great has been mentioned staff a lot of comments about the staff good comments about the staff so staff is staff is on point so anyways there's that so let's let's look at dissatisfied words and let's see how we can improve so room is mentioned a lot so people repeatedly mentioned the word room okay so this this can be this can be a little bit fluff because people write the word room again and again every time they write a review so maybe maybe that's not that re relevant so that's one weakness of data analytics but let's look at some other words service it's spelled wrongly but but that's that's just so that we can ac accumulate like more different types of service like servicing serviced and like that so we can't use s-e-r-v-i-c-e -E. that's why we took out the e because we can have different tenses so service service probably wasn't that good um, maybe like they asked for a toothbrush and they weren't given the toothbrush or something like that often right this data is kind of dealing with a large sample size so if this happens often only then will the words become pretty big night like I said um, this kind of goes in with my analysis or like what I'm thinking is that something must be going wrong with the night and with the stay that's why it's been mentioned so many different times check uh, I'm not sure what this check means maybe it's a, like a restaurant thing maybe maybe they have mandatory tipping or maybe for some reason they're not happy with this um, bathroom it could be someone slips in the bathroom the bathroom is a short bathroom or something like that call so people are calling in desk these words place park maybe there's a big parking uh, fee or something like that 
like if I saw the word resort here as well or fee here as well and maybe there's hidden charges in this hotel so so that's that's how I'm able to see this this word housekeeping maybe housekeeping didn't, didn't listen to the do not disturb signs or this sorry they didn't see the do not disturb signs or something like that so maybe that's there so anyways so long story short this is just my thoughts on how data analysis should be used I am nowhere near as perfect as I would like to be uh, with data analytics I'm just starting newly uh, with this topic but this is something new this is revolutionary technology and uh, this is the progress I've made and I would like to share this with uh, you all who are watching this video thank you this is Anand